so it's a brand new day in Bosnia. We left Medjugorje behind and travelled 45 minutes away to Kravise waterfalls. When we got there, there were plenty of places to park. We bought our entry tickets to the falls, which cost 10 euro per person, and we made our way down to the falls themselves. Once we made our way down, we crossed over the walkway to get a closer look at the falls. These waterfalls are one of the largest in Bosnia and are becoming more and more popular. The weather was perfect, so I had to go in for a swim. I'm in the water. It is icy cold. This is about as deep as it goes for me. I'm five foot three. I waded into the water. How beautiful are these falls? I felt so much calm and peace with these amazing waterfalls in front of me. After I had a swim and enjoyed the refreshing water, it was Tig's turn and bless him, he didn't last too long in that cold water before coming back out onto dry land. <laughs> Guys, this is absolutely amazing. I've just been in that water. It is so, so refreshing, but my God, it's cold. I swam right over to the falls. So it's only about this deep when you go in, but as you get closer to the falls themselves, it gets much deeper and the current gets stronger. So if you're not a really good swimmer, I wouldn't go right up to the falls themselves. If you do want to go up to the falls without getting wet, then you can go on one of those little boats Somebody can take you right across, right up to the water, and I think they take your photos for you and that kind of thing. So it's really nicely set up here. There's loads of places to eat and drink. We rented a parasol and two deck chairs. It was three euro per chair and three euro for the parasol as well. It's cash only here, no bank cards. So do bear that in mind when you're traveling. I noticed that so far in Bosnia, that seems to be the case. This is such a beautiful place, honestly. I can't rate it enough. Five out of five stars, really lovely. Is it beer o'clock? And I managed to get over here barefoot as well. That's another tip guys, if you're coming here, bring some sort of waterproof shoes with you so you can walk down to the water easier because it's really painful on the stones. But other than that, it's amazing. You have to come here, it's so nice. Guess how much these beers cost? This was only two euro 50, and so it's five euro for the two. And if you wanted a bit of a bigger one, it's only a tiny bit more expensive. But because I'm driving, I'm going to scrap that and just have this one. So I've noticed that in Bosnia, food and drink seems to be much more affordable than Croatia. So cheers to that. After relaxing and enjoying our beers at this beautiful place, it was time to leave. I think we came at the perfect time because the crowds have started to fill up here. Look at all this area too. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's lots of like facilities down here, like there's toilets down here, there's places to eat, places to drink. We've got a whole abundance of things here. You get ice cream, pizzas, beers, you know, burgers, that kind of thing. You have to climb stairs to get down here. So going down is one thing, going up is entirely another. We will catch you guys once we've climbed up the stairs. See you guys at the next destination. Hello, how are you? I'm not gonna hurt you. So we said goodbye to the falls and spotted this little stall that we had to check out. So we just thought we'd stop by here, this little roadside place. We'll just see what the guy has here. It looks like he's got some spirits and stuff, so I'm gonna check it out. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Chili's carrot. Yeah. How's that? Is it good? Yeah. Let's go and get something from here. Do you wanna get some jam or something? Wow, oh, look at all these things. Oh my God, there is an abundance of liqueurs and jams for sale. We decided to try a liqueur called Carob, which is a Bosnian liqueur. The Carob actually comes from the pods of the Carob tree and is sometimes used as a chocolate alternative. That's really nice, try. That is really good. Oh wow, what's this one? 
<laughs> Honey and grape. A bit like mead. Maybe. Ooh. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> He's trying to put hairs on our chest, dude. <laughs> Try. What's your name? Mario. Mario. Mario's trying to get us tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, I have no. to guess. Oh, okay. Some berry um No. <laughs> <laughs> granite. Oh, is it? Oh, the pomegranate. It's They're very, very good. That's very good. Think, Which one do you think you drink? I think out of the carob or the pomegranate. The mandarina. We'll try the one mandarin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll I'm be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That one's very nice as well, mandarin. It's very unique. Mmm, it's very good. Okay, you get to be the decider which one. I think down to the pomegranate or the carob. The carob is very strong. As strong as it is, we decided to be brave and take a bottle with us. Right, let's get back on the road and make our way towards Mostar, stopping off at a really cool viewpoint. Guys, I think if you were to walk to the end of the world, this might be what it would look like. There are stations of the cross going all the way up this mountain and they lead to this massive cross here in the middle of this road. Now apparently you can keep driving down here, so Google says, but I don't believe it for a second, nor does Tig. And it doesn't look like a road here, so we're going to walk the rest of the way. It's about 800 metres and we can get views of Mostar. Going as far as we could by car, we continued on foot to the viewpoint, but not before Tig took in the views climbing up on this cross. We're still in Bosnia and Mostar is, I think, predominantly a Muslim city. The scenery is just unreal here. This is definitely a cool walk to do. You feel so rural along here. Oh my goodness. I feel like I, I would imagine like Hebron or someone like that feeling like this. Wow. If this is a road, I wouldn't drive down here if you paid me. Bosnia is such a beautiful country, honest to God. It really is. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the call to prayer is currently being sung over the valley. It's amazing. This is where we're going to be spending tonight, so I'm really excited to explore the city and get a feel for the place. It looks so beautiful online. Being here in person, looking over it like this, is pretty amazing and pretty special. Wow, this viewpoint definitely didn't disappoint. It looks absolutely amazing. We got back on the road, heading into the city of Mostar, which is where we'll be spending the night. We took in the amazing views as we drove down the mountain and checked into our hotel in Mostar. Here we are. So we're at Kriva Chuplia. This hotel is in the heart of Mostar and it's in the nice quiet section with the old bridges and everything. Looking forward to exploring later. So they've given us a welcome drink. This is peach juice. That's really good. And we've got yogurt and honey. Wow, that's really nice. Homemade as well, really tasty. So this is our room. Let's go inside. We've got a nice bed there. And they upgraded us to give us the balcony. How kind is that? Wow. See what I mean? We are literally right where the old town is in the heart of it all this is really lovely so we're going to freshen up and we're going to go and explore tell you what all me and tig have eaten today is a banana so we are really hungry so let's head out crossing the old bridge Look how cool this is. There's a mosque over there. There's a mosque just there. Look at the ducks just doing their own thing down there.
Let's explore Mostar. I mean, it looks really beautiful, to be honest. This is like the perfect spot to be. So this is our guide, Tig. Uh -huh. The guide of many guides. We made our way down to the bottom of the bridge where we spotted some guys who were ready to jump. Oh my God, no actual way. Oh my god, wow, that was, Ooh. oh my god, that was so high and so cool to watch. This is a beautiful view and you can go and ride the boats up and down the river, but sadly they would only accept cash, so I'll have to come another time. Feeling really hungry, it was definitely time to grab some food. We found a nice looking restaurant called Shadarvan, which serves traditional Bosnian food. So we have a Mostar, Mostarsko, Privo. We have a Mostar bit, it looks like. So I'm gonna have some klepi. I think klepi is little dumplings with minced meat and garlic. And it's a traditional dish. Oh wow, look at this. Wow. My goodness, thank you. So here we go. This is, I don't know what this is, it's some kind of sauce, some kind of cheese sauce. I'm going to use the bread to stop it dripping on myself. It's like a cheese. Ooh. <laughs> not my cup of tea. <laughs> I'm not a cheesy person, if I'm honest. This is very rich, creamy and cheesy. So it's basically like minced meat in these kind of like dumplings with this super creamy cheesy uh, sauce on it and I'm actually struggling with it because I don't like um, cream cheesy things it's very rich and cheesy okay I'll try and have another piece no. so I'm gonna go for the Bosnian cookie which is mincemeat eggs onions parsley garlic and bread sounds very interesting <laughs> I really like that. It's like bread that's slightly infused with a kind of stew flavour. Let's try the clepe. All right, here we go. Oh wow, it's quite strong, isn't it? Everything's coated in cream and it's got this really, really strong, cheesy twang. Almost a bitter cheese. I wouldn't mind it, but I couldn't imagine why it might be very personal preference. I'm disappointed that I couldn't eat that or because I always like it when I'm away to try and absorb the culture and have like traditional dishes when I can. So the klepi, it's nothing wrong with it it's in itself, it's just me because of my personal preference. I'm not a very cheesy person. So I'm going to try a bit of Tig's Bosnian cookie. First of all, I'm going to try the sauce with a bit of the rice. Oh wow. The sauce is phenomenal. It's like a lovely stewed sauce. It's really good. Now I'm going to try the cookie. The Bosnian cookie. I'll show you what it looks like. Like a little cross section. Okay, let's go for it. No, much more my cup of tea. It's almost like a meaty falafel. Like the texture is a bit like a falafel, but it's, it's got a meaty taste to it. I really like this. Thank God, because I thought I was going to go hungry. So me and Tick can share. We gobbled up our food, and this place didn't accept card, so we had to pay in cash. This definitely seems to be commonplace in Bosnia, needing to have cash rather than card. So the meal was around 50 marks, something like that, roughly about 25 euro, and that was for the two meals, two beers and a Coke Zero. After our food and the cool marching band, we decided to head back towards our hotel and grab some shisha. We had to stop for a minute and enjoy the beautiful view as the call to prayer began to echo all around us. Oh, look how magical this looks at night. It's like a little fairy tale, isn't it? Allah. 
I love hearing the call to prayer. It's so, so nice. There's Tig. I was calling him the Demon Headmaster. I don't know if anyone remembers that TV series from the 90s. I remember it. It's not a good character to be, I find. He's not actually a demon, despite his smoky exterior. So this is really nice little shish lounge that we found. It's right next to our hotel, so we hardly had to go anywhere, which is perfect now because our feet are so tired. So we're just going to chill out and relax. And I just found out one of my friends got engaged. How nice is that? Adelaide, if you watch this, congratulations. So much love to both of you. And I hope you have many, many happy years together. After our shisha, it was time to head back to our hotel. So good night from us in Mostar. Next time, we travel up the country to Levni, into the hills, on the hunt for wild horses. So until next time, take care and we'll see you soon.